Hey, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ainsley D here with a second stimulus check update along with a third stimulus check update. Just a stimulus check update and what's going on in Washington, D.C. and Capitol Hill. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you probably heard by now that there's talks about there being a third stimulus and it being $2,000. $2,000 stimulus check, direct payment to the people and this is coming right after the $600 stimulus check that is supposed to be processed right now. And this is going to happen once President-elect Joe Biden takes office. But a lot of people are saying that it's not going to be a straight $2,000 and it's going to be $1,400. So right now, a lot of the problem is, is negotiating whether it's going to be $1,400 or $2,000. Well, President-elect Joe Biden, when he was campaigning for those Senate seats in Georgia, he was saying that if those Senate seats get elected, that there will be a check for $2,000. But then again, he was saying that, okay, well, the $600 is just a down payment. So if it's just a down payment, then you would probably just have $1,400. So we'll come to find out once he takes office on January 20th and he gets sworn in. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, the stimulus check, the $600 stimulus check should be in processing mode right now. Some people already received their $600 stimulus check, but there's many out there who still haven't received theirs. So we're gonna have to check out the Get My Payment Portal on the IRS and other things like that to find out what's going on with the stimulus check. Now there's word that's saying that if you didn't receive your $600 stimulus check, whether through direct payment to your bank account, whether through a debit card or through check in the mail. Well, what you would have to do is claim the $600 relief payment on your tax returns for the year 2020. However, there's another hiccup with that because the IRS won't start processing tax returns until uh, I believe around February 12th. I believe around February 12th is the right date. You know, usually it starts around mid-January where they can start processing those tax returns and things like that. But right now, with so much things going on and then processing out $600 stimulus checks to different people, many people will have to wait until February 12th in order to file their tax returns and also file for that $600 relief payment. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Before I continue this video, please hit that like button so YouTube and the algorithm can know that this video is of value to you and to others. So let's continue with what else is going on in Washington, D.C. Like I said, many of us out there probably will have to wait until February to file um, our tax returns and to file for that relief payment. But a lot of people are also questioning, okay, if it would be a third stimulus check of 1400 or 2000 how would it be done? Would people also have to claim that on their tax return as well? Or would their payment be paid out directly to them, either to their bank account or their check? So a lot of things, a lot of details we still really don't know about because once again, President-elect Joe Biden still haven't taken the office. Also, those senators from um, Georgia still haven't taken their office. So the government in full return probably won't end up starting until I say maybe the 22nd, the 23rd. And you're gonna see a lot of things come out with the SBA and the PPP loans and just a wide variety of things and more words and more talks of will there be a third stimulus. So the main talk is there will be another big stimulus coming according to people on President-elect Biden's team that they're saying that it's gonna be another big stimulus coming it's going to be looking for like another two thousand dollars per person um more direct payments more eidl more ppp more state and local government so once he take office within his first 100 days he's going to be working out details along with his new treasury secretary well the new treasury secretary that he appointed janet yellen will be taking over and janet yellen is very popular to many people because she also served in president obama cabinet along with the President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden at that time through that term. And she's saying that that they are aware of what's going on in terms of the details and in terms of the debt and the budget and things like that. The interest right now for borrowing money, according to the federal chairman, is very low. You know, they, they dropped the interest low so the government will be able to buy, so the government will be able to borrow money. The interests are low. So what she's saying is the smallest thing that people can do, the smallest thing that the government can do right now is to act big. So act big meaning creating more stimulus package, more stimulus check, and also creating enough money to work on the infrastructure. She's saying that the benefit will outweigh the cost, especially if the country cares about their people. And I'm sure the country cares about the people, the senators, the representatives, and they need to come together to find a way to definitely work this out. And with that said, 
if the federal chairman is saying that he's able to print out more money, as they say, well, go ahead if that's needed for to stimulate the economy, keep people from being evicted, and just a wide variety of things. So Janet Yellen is also saying that this big stimulus, you know, at a low interest, it will create revenue. Then with revenue, you can have business creating more revenue. And with business creating more revenue, then you can have taxes. With taxes, then you can start to balance out the, the worksheet and the, the budget and the deficit and the everything. So she's saying that in the long term, that it will all balance out because you'll help out the people, you'll help out revenue, you help out business. Business, you can start taxing. Taxing can take care of the deficit and we'll be okay. We don't have to worry about being in debt. Like a lot of senators are saying that they don't want to be too much in debt. So she's saying if there's no action now, then the scarlet is going to be bigger. And like a lot of us seeing, is seeing like they were saying that it was going to be stopped like in, in the summer of 2020. But as we can see, the numbers even rise more than the highest peak that they ever had. So President Trump is will be skipping out on the inauguration. Wow. Can you believe that? He'd be skipping out that inauguration. That's like... That's more than disrespect to like President-elect Joe Biden. That's like disrespect to the country. That's like a, a routine right there. So the president will be skipping out the inauguration and going down to Florida. I guess they say like hours before the inauguration. So he's going to take the Air Force One hours before he's going to switch over power. He's going to go down to Florida. I guess Air Force One going to come back and then we'll see how it happens. He's the first president to miss the inauguration of their successor since like back in like 1869, back in the 1800s. So that's that's century and century and a quarter about century. Wow, almost a century and a half. So let's go back to the big stimulus um, package that President like Joe Biden will be pushing out. So in addition to like direct payments, um, EIDL, PPP, it also has planned on raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. And many in Congress are not supporting this. They, they're saying like um, some entry level workers, like teenagers and stuff like that, they're going to be making $15 um, according to compared to someone who's been in the industry um, five, five to 10 years who was getting like, OK, 10, 10, 50, 11, 11, 50. Next thing, all of a, know, all of a sudden, you know that you've been in that industry five years and then you get fifteen dollars but in an entry level person somebody in high school coming and getting the same amount so a lot of them not really supporting that in addition to um a lot of independent business won't be able to pay out fifteen dollars an hour just a wide variety of things that we'll have to be looking at um i mean it will be a good thing but at the same time like you got to base it off of the state some states on um, cost of living is lower than other states so it's going to be an interesting thing to look at and just just going to be a very interesting 100 days coming up. So Republicans are saying that the numbers for the new stimulus package needs to come down. It needs to come down because, you know, I think that's the, the package was like almost 1.9. And if you think about it, back in uh, the summertime, fall time, the problem caucus committee was trying to work on something in that range, that 1.7, 1.8 range. And uh, Republican leaders won't have in it. So remember, the Senate is still 50-50. And um, Vice President-elect Harris will be the one to do the tiebreaker. So with that said, economists are saying that this should split the bill into one being a stimulus package, third check, you know, um, COVID relief funding, um, testing, vaccine, money for small business, and a smaller money for state and local government, in addition to like the $1,400 check, um, stimulus check. And then do another package later on down, maybe like uh, March with additional relief funding, uh, you know, assess, assess the whole problem, see what's going on and then come back with another um, and then come back with another stimulus package offer. President elect Joe Biden, once take office, will be doing some executive decision and he will also be um, halting like evictions, um, slowing up the foreclosure, halting the foreclosures. Um, opening up schools and business, you want to open up schools and business, being very careful of how you open up schools and business, including um, upgrading the, the air system in buildings like the filters and different things like that, reversing the, the traveling Muslim ban, just a wide variety of things that he want to accomplish in the next 100 days in the first 100 days of his presidency. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, a quick rundown of new stimulus check update and the new stimulus package 
um, proposal probably for another $2,000 or $1,400 third check. President-elect Joe Biden will be taking office soon. EIDL PPP um, portal should be opening up soon. $600 check. Most people might have to just claim it on their tax returns. And uh, that's it for now. So ladies and gentlemen, before I end this video, make sure you continue to be safe. Make sure you're washing your hands, wearing those masks and practicing those social distancing rules. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live or when I put a video up on YouTube. Once again, it's Ainsley D. Continue to be safe and I'll talk to you later. Peace.